So, London Bike Show 2016, the main feature of the show, Heir to the Throne, a huge international invitational jump contest. We've got some of the best riders in the world, almost top 25. We've got Nikolai Rigatkin, we've got Matt Jones, we've got Daryl Brown, a massive lineup of 25 athletes. An absolutely enormous course we've got here laid before them, and they're all going to be battling for a slice of the 10,000 euro prize purse, which is up for grabs. We've got some really cool looking trophies too, and of course some Kodak 4K360 cams for the winners as well. It's going to be an absolutely awesome weekend. So an absolutely monster course that we've laid before these athletes. 75 meters in length, we've got a seven and a half meter roll in, leading into a six meter gap over a Jeep Wrangler. Two of those gaps lead them into a 10 foot quarter pipe up to a 14 foot catcher. Then we've got two smaller jumps in a row. They're gonna be used in the BMX World Championships later on this year. And finally, an eight foot quarter pipe ends the course. I really like the jumps. It's so big, Ben and the other guys do a big job. So the course is really good, it's the first year they've done it and I think they've done a stellar job, so yeah, I'm stoked for that. Yeah, the course is a huge setup, big jumps and steep landings, so no room for error and uh, everyone's going huge. It's one of the most successful bike shows in the world and they wanted to make it even better this year, so they've invested in this massive jump course. Today there are 10 places available for qualification for tomorrow. We're going to give more bias to the first two big kickers, so make sure you put your big tricks in there and then follow up for a complete run through the rest of the course. Let's go, Chopper! Those riders that I've never rode with have competed this weekend. I've only seen them in videos, and to see those videos being done in real life is unbelievable. So giving us a live feed to the big screen are Kodak 364K cameras dotted all around the course, giving a really unique insight into this contest. We've got one up with the judges, one in the DJ booth and in the start gate as well. Gives a really nice insight into the behind the scenes of Air to the Throne. Daryl Brown here and uh, I'm from Essex. Oh, hey. This level riding has been really crazy, so making my job and yeah, everyone else's job really hard. First time the um, mountain bike competition at the London Bike Show, and I think it's really cool to you know bring the people of London a uh, mountain bike and hopefully uh, get them involved. The final's gonna be rowdy. I think I'm gonna have to bring out some stuff that is gonna be risky, but uh, I think all the riders are gonna be throwing down and they, everyone wants that title, so I'm gonna have to wait and see what I have to do to try to uh, get on top. Never really had the 
like the chance to be riding at this level, so for me to be in the final, I'd just really put it on the line to get this fast. All the riders have been killing it for sure. Uh, Adrian Tell is the guy that's really impressed me with probably no handers on these steep landings and uh, catch rolls. Definitely Nuno Pinta, he is, has that little bit like special style as well. Yeah, it's locked on 720s, pretty cool. Also, Matt Jones throwing down uh, 720s like they're nothing, so it's been sick. This event vibe has been sick, you know, so many good riders, the, the crowd is loving it, the course is good, so uh, yeah, amazing vibes and can't wait for the next one. Definitely hope to come back next year and do this all over again. <laughs>